Okay. So, brothers and sisters, we got that? Fine. Ana Muhammad. Ana Muhammad. Ana. Now describe Ana. No, brother. That was in book one. <laughs> now you have to say it in, in a more eloquent way. Ana. Damirun. Munfasilun. Mabniun ala. Sukun. <laughs> Sukun. Ah, no, 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 brother. Damirun. Munfasilun. Mabniun ala. Sukun. Now it is Mabni, so I have to say. Fi mahalli rafain. Muftada. This is how you will describe. Are you with me? But that is when you write your BA examination or MA examination. Okay? But we have the tools. We have the understanding. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? We have the understanding to say these things. And when they are said, we understand and appreciate it. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Muhammad. Khabarun. Marfu'un. Wa alamatu rafa'ihi. Dammatul. Mukaddaratun. Ala ya'il ma'zufati. You have to say ala ya'il ma'zufati. Because where is the damma mukaddara? On the ya. Where is that ya? It is dropped. Ma'zuf. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah, you'll be able to do it. Okay? Now, we have studied quite a bit today, alhamdulillah. Now we take a short break, brothers and sisters. Uh, let's enjoy our tea and a uh, few snacks, and then we'll continue. Okay, brothers and sisters, we are back from our break. Hope you enjoyed some hot tea and some snacks. And we are, our batteries are recharged for our next session. Al Marfuat. What is Al Marfuat? Jama. What is singular? Marfuon. <laughs> al Marfuat Min Al Asma. You know, where is the noun Marfu? Huh? Where, where do you find the noun Marfu? Number one, Mubtada and Khabar. They are both Marfu. Are you? Allahu. Marfu, Muftada Marfu, Akbaru, Khabar Marfu, see, got the idea? So these things we have to make a note of it. Huh? Ismu Kana is always Marfu. Huh? Kana al Babu Maftu Han. Huh? So Ismu Kana, where is Ismu Kana? Al Babu. So it is always Marfu. Huh? Khabar Inna, not Ismu Inna, but Khabar Inna. Inna Allah Gafu Run 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 Marfu Al Fail Khalakana Allahu Khalakana Allahu. So by the way, where is the verb? Khalaka. And what is na? How will you describe it? Damirun Mutasilun Mabniun. Ala sukun fi mahali nasbin mafulun bihi. Mafulun bihi is always nasab. Are you with me, brother? This is how we do this guy. And now comes our file. Allahu is your file. And brothers and sisters, whenever you describe Allah with a grammatical analysis, before you start your description, you will write down lafzul jalala. Lafz means word. Word of majesty. Huh? This is praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Huh? Okay, and then you will say, uh, how will I describe you, Allahu? First I'll say, Lafzul Jalalati. Fa'ilun marfu'un wa alamatu rafi'i dammatun zahiratun. Okay, inshallah. Brother Abdul Samad said, Brother Asif, you never mentioned zahir before, and we got confused. I said, the need to mention Zahir only became uh, urgent when you describe Mukaddara. So Mukaddara and Zahira, they go opposite, you know. So now that we are saying Mukaddara, Mukaddara all the time, now we can say Zahir also. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. 
nine file. We haven't studied this. We are going to study very soon. Nine file. What is the translation of nine file? Deputy file. What is it? Deputy file. This comes in passive voice. Okay, which we'll stu study. Holy Kalin Sanu. Man was created. Huh? So insanu is naif file. But the khulika, can you see khulika? We have never come across this form of verb. Khalaka became khulika. Huh? Khalaka, he created. Khulika, he was created or it was created. So we are going to learn this, inshallah, very soon, inshallah. Now, mansubat. Where will you find ism mansub? Okay, ismu inna, brother and sister. Inna Allaha gafurun. So Allah is your ismu inna. And then khabaru kana. Kana taamu lazizan. So khabar kana is mansub. Mafulun bihi. We know that. Fahimtu darsa. Now comes mafulun fihi. What is mafulun fihi, brothers and sisters? Looks like very difficult. Sister Mayanas, Sister Maimuna, what is mafulun fihi, brothers and sisters? Take a sigh of relief. It's nothing but zaf. What is it? Huh? This is a fancy name for zaf. I shouldn't say fancy. No. The point is this. When we see lesson number nine or somewhere there, a whole lesson comes with mafulun fihi. In other words, zarf. And Dr. Saab uses zarf most often. Huh? More often, zarf. Okay. Now, where do we say zarf mafulun fihi? When it is jumla failure. And in the jumla failure, if the zarf comes, then it is said it is mafulun fihi. Okay? Are you with me? But otherwise, we say zarf. So when, Sister Madina, if you see a jumla failure and then uh, zarf is coming, we can say it is mafulun fihi. Look at the sentence, brothers and sisters. Safara abi laylan. See, laylan. Are you with me? Like al ana al barihata, yawman. These are all zarf. But see, the verb has come. Safara. Abi is fine. My father traveled by night. Huh? In the night. So, Lailan is an adverb of time. But here, Safara is form 3. MashaAllah. Bab Mufa'alatun. Fi'alun. Next sentence, Sister Madina. Look at the next sentence. Jalasal mudarrisu. So jalasa came. Is a verb. Chumla failure. And then endal mudiri. So now you, you can say enda mafulun fihi. And if you said sister mena zarf, it's okay. Both are alright. Huh? But at least you know the, the meaning of mafulun fihi and how do we use it. Sahi? Inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters, did you write down mafulun fihi? Yes, sister uh, Madina. Abhi ka pardon? Amsi? Amsi is a zarf. Yeah, it's mabni. Huh? It's mabni. We are going to learn, sister Madina, write down I'm, what I'm saying. Number four, what is number four? Mafulun fihi. Write down next to it, lesson number 12. Mafulun fihi, lesson is, lesson number 12, page 96. This is where we will learn the concept of mafulun fihi in great detail. Huh? And everything will come, why amsi and how we describe amsi, inshallah. Al-maf'oolu ma'ahu. No, but then this, or li ajulihi, 
Huh? What is the meaning of li ajulihi? Because of it. Now so this also comes in the Quran. What is the sentence? Can you read it? No vowel signs. Ma kharashtu min al bayti khawfan. Whether what was the reason that you did not go out of the house? For the reason of fear of heat. Are you with me, brother? So what will you describe? How fun? Kharaja is not a, a transitive verb. It does not need mafulun bihi. Now this is how fun will be called mafulun li ajlihi. For the reason of, for the cause, a reason of. Now, brothers and sisters, the use is not very frequent. But it comes in the Quran. This will come in the Quran. And we will study it, you know. Again, there is a lesson number 29. Page 200 and I believe it is 46. Okay. That lesson will deal with Mafulu li ajulihi. And next one, brother and sister. Mafulu ma'ahu. Now also the use is very Little. Ma, you know, with. So here, sirtu. Okay, but sirtu. Wal jabala. Why jabala is mansu? No, again, the use of this is not very frequent. Sirtu, what is the meaning of sirtu? What is the verb? Sara yasiru. Ajwaf. Ajwaf, yai. Sara he walked. Huh? Sara, Sara, Saru, Sarat, Sarata, Sirna, Sirta, Sirtuma, Sirtum, Sirti, Sirtuma, Sirtunna, Sirtu, Sirna, Sirtu. I walked Wal Jabala along the mountain. Are you with me? Write down the meaning, brothers and sisters. I walked along the mountain. By the mountain. Now, brothers and sisters, again, it is not very frequent, but we must understand that there is something called al mafaulu ma'uhu. Now remember, this is all advanced grammar, brother. Very advanced grammar. Okay? There is nothing more advanced than this now. Huh? There are only few concepts. Dr. Sahib told me once that those concepts are not very frequent, so I did not add it. Anything which was very important to understand Quran, he brought in. So this book relates to the Quran, brother. Alhamdulillah. Jabala, ah, Jabala, Mansu, brother of the Samad. We are only doing Mansubat. Huh? So Sirtu is fail file. Wal Jabala. So Jabala will be Mafulun Maahu. So wow here is. Wow, wow, wow is this? Harfu Atfin. Wow is Atfin. Okay. Inshallah, we'll, we'll learn, brothers and sisters. Mafulun Mutlaq, our favorite. What is the translation of Mafulun Mutlaq? Absolute object. Huh? What is it called in English? Absolute object. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? I gave you a little idea before. Dr. Saab is giving us more idea here. Lesson number 28. Sister Nasreen, lesson 28. Page number 238. We'll be studying Mafulun Mutlaq. Did I say page 238? What page is this? 15. Delhi is very far. Long way to go to Delhi. <laughs> Are you with me, brothers and sisters? But we will go, inshallah, one day <laughs> and reach it. <laughs> okay. But, Yakra'u Hamidun. Brother and sister, Kira'atan. Brother, see, what is Kira'atan? Masdar from Kara'a. Huh? Masdar from Kara'a. And it is Mansu. Huh? So you will say, Yakra'u Hamidun. Kira'atan jayidatan. And if you say, 
Brother and sister, yakrau hamidun jaidan, then jaidan will become mafulun mutlak. But if you mention mafulun mutlak kiraatan, then jaidan is the naat. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? I have one more sentence for you to write, brothers and sisters. I want to write another sentence. Antum, Allah, find, remember Allah, Zikran, now Zikran, what is Zakara? Yadkuru, Zikran, is the master, huh? so you say Zikran Kasiya, you cannot translate this, the sweetness is in its original form, language, in original matan, the sweetness is there. And we got to learn that language in order to feel the magic of Quran, brothers and sisters. And inshallah, as we progress, you will be noticing all these things. Brother Kathiran, what is Kathiran? Nah. Now if I say to you, Uthkurullah Kathiran, Kathiran is now Mafurul Mutlaq because it represents Zikran Kathiran. All these things we are going to study in lesson number 28, inshallah. Fine. Oh brother, hal has come. Hal kaisa hai janab ka? Kya khayal hai aap ka? <laughs> are you with me, brothers and sisters? Very important lesson. A very important lesson. Huh? Jaddi. Brother, what is Jaddi. What kind of a sentence is this? Jumla. So what are we looking for? Muptida. Where is Muptida? Jaddu. Huh? How will you describe Jaddi? So you'll say Jaddi. Muptida. Marfu'un. Wa alamatu rafa'ihi. Dammatun. Mukaddaratun. Alama. Kabla yai. Mutakallam. Before the ya mutakallam. There's a tamma there. Are you with me? Wahua mudaf. And then what will you say? Ya? Mudaf ilahi. Okay, brother. My grandfather. Okay, give me the news. What is the news? Yusalli. What is Yusalli? Salla. Yusalli. What form is this? Salla. Form. Two. Bab. Taf'il. Huh? Okay, Yusalli. Describe Yusalli. Fialun, Mudariun, Marfuun, Bidammatil, Mukaddara. Dammatil, Mukaddara. See, now we can say with ease, you know, uh, where is the file? Mustatir, Takdiruhu, Huwa, Yadullu ala Jaddi. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Okay, brother, my grandfather. Prays, okay. In what condition does he pray? Kaidan. See, Kaidan. It became Mansub. Huh? Kaidan. Oh, what is this Kaidan? Is it Mafurun Bihi? Is it Mafurun Mutla? No, it is Hal. It describes the condition. Huh? And we'll be soon learning. Are you with me? I'm just throwing things at you. You can just put it from one ear and take it out from the other ear. That's fine. Whenever there is a hal, brother and sister, what did I say? Repeat after me. Whenever there is a hal, sister Maimuna, there is a saibul hal. <laughs> what is it? Saibul hal. You know, hal has to go somewhere. And that is saibul hal. We are going to learn. We are not going to learn now. We will learn these things in all uh, the lesson number. Where is the lesson number? Lesson number 31. Baskin Robbins 31 ice cream. Huh? <laughs> lesson number 31. Are you with me? Is that lesson deals with hal. In all kinds of situations we will be. And this comes in the Quran a lot. Hal comes very frequently. Mafulun mutlaq comes very frequently in the Quran, brother and sister. Wa qad fa'za 
thousand azim and see, this is mafulun mutlaq. And you cannot translate, brother and sister. You cannot justify you doing translation. Oh, brother and sisters, our favorite, Tamiz. Huh? Tamiz has come. Lesson number 30, you can write down. Page number 250. And Hal was page 254. Huh? Tamiz. What is Tamiz? Look at it. Tam Yi Zu. What is Tamiz? Tafail, mashallah. It is, see, it should click in your mind. It is Tafail. Okay, brother, give me the verb. Mayaza, mashallah. Mayaza, you mayizu. Tamayiz. See, these things, as I said, and I repeated so many times, will come to you in a split of second. As you go along, as you practice, mayaza, you mayizu. Tamayiz. Is to distinguish something. We're going to learn in detail. Tamayiz is a noun. Which clarifies an ambiguity. Are you with me? Which clarifies something which is not clear. For example, here is beautiful sentence. We did it in book two. Ana akbaru minka. I am older than you, brother. If you stop here, then I am wondering. Huh? So it is ambiguous. Now we have to bring Tamiz to clarify. Huh? So, Ana Akbaru Menka Sinnan. See, Mansub, Sinnan. What is Sinnan? Tamizun Mansubun. Huh? Ana, brothers and sisters? No more, brother. That was in book one. Damirun Munfasilun Mabniun Ala Sukun Fi Mahali. Rafa'in Mubtada. Akbaru Khabarun Marfu'un Wa alamatu Rafa'ihi Dammatun Zahira. Min ka? Min harf char. Ka? Damirun Muttasilun Mabniun ala Fata. Fi mahalli Jarrin. Ismu majroor. Are you ismu? Fine. This is the way we will, we can do it. Sometimes I will do it, not all the time, because otherwise it will take a long time to study. But you know something I'm afraid? You will insist that we want to do now <laughs> the whole of it. Okay. Sinnan, brother. Before, if I say only to you, Ana Akbaru Minka, maybe Malan. Are you with me? Maybe Malan. Maybe. Uh, Ibn, I've got more children. Or maybe Brother Muhammad, I can say, Ana Akbaru Minka Zaujan. I'm just joking. Huh? I'm joking. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's, I, I write down one more sentence. Huh? You don't mind my, you know, sometimes joke here and there. But I'll write down another sentence, brother. Ana Ahsanu Minka See when Min comes Then it is comparative degree Remember uh, min means then. Ana ahsanu minka khattan. What is the translation? In writing. Uh, that's it. So, Sister Afsa, this is your tamiz. Uh, okay, we'll learn more, inshallah, in detail. Mustasna. What is the meaning of mustasna? Exception. Uh, and this is a very interesting lesson, a very big lesson, lesson number 32. Okay, page number 261. Brothers and sisters, 
The most common example of mustasna is the use of illa. And it comes in the Quran all the time. Illa means accept. Look at this. Hadarat. Hadarat tullabu kulluhum. Every student came. Illa. Hamidan. Brother, it is mansub. Why it is mansub? So we are going to learn the rules of Mustasna in lesson number 32. Munada. Munada is always. Huh? Ya Abdullahi. So Munada becomes Mansub if there is a Harfu Nida there. Huh? So these are the nouns which can become Mansub if they come in the following uh, situations. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Sister Mainas, you do not have to memorize. The most important thing will be to understand is Ismu Inna. Mansu. Khabar Kana Mansu. This is where we get sometimes confused. Khabar Inna Marfu. Ismu Kana Marfu. These are the few important things. And others will come and you will be able to recognize it, inshallah. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. Al Majroorat. See, first we did Marfuat. Then we did Mansubat, now we do Majroorat. Brothers and sisters, Majroorat, you learned in book one. And there are no more to learn. That's all. Only in two situations, the ism will become Majroor, sister Hafsa. What are they? Jar Majroor, Mudah Mudaf Ilayhi. Khalas. That's it. And so you know, Mudaf Ilayhi, Al Quranu. Kitabul Lahi. Why it is Lahi? Because it is Mudafili. At-Tullabu Filfasli. Tullabu Filfasli. Brothers and sisters, I want to take you back one more uh, time. The other. Jaddi Yusalli Ka'idan. You said Ka'idan is your Hal. And you say Jaddi is your uh, oh, you did not tell me the khabar. Ah, what is Yusalli? Jumla Fali. How will you describe this of the Al Jumlatul Fialiatu Fi Mahali Rafa in Khabar? Huh? Huh? Did we do it? I, I thought we didn't do it. Huh? I, I just thought I will say it, but I, I escaped my mind. So remember, Yusalli, you will say. Al Jumlatul Fialiatu Fi Mahali Rafa'in Khabar. Khabar Far Chaddi. Fine, brothers and sisters. At Tullabu Fil Fasli. Brother, what is, why it is Fasli? Jar Machil. See, it says Masbuku. What is the Masbuku means? Preceded. Huh? Preceded by preposition. When the noun is preceded by a preposition, it becomes. If the preposition comes in front, the noun becomes much more. Tawabi'u. What is the meaning of Tawabi'u? This is a different topic. Huh? Tawabi'u. Brothers and sisters, even tomorrow we will continue with the lesson and we will also start. Lesson 2 tomorrow. Huh? I request you to read the key tonight huh? of lesson 2. You will have some idea, inshallah. Tawabiu is uh, plural, and what is the singular? Tawabiu. Huh? Something that follows. Huh? Tawabiu is a noun which shares the case ending of another noun in front of it. Huh? Tawabiu is a noun which shares the case ending of another noun in front of it. Here the sentence starts with At-Tabiu who al ismul mushariku mushariku 
Tell me what this noun is. Sister Mamuna? Where it is coming from? Sharaka. Form three. Bab Mufa'alatun. Sharaka. Yushariku. Is Mufa'il? Mushariku. See? Associated. Something that associates itself. Okay? So this Tabiu is a noun associated Lima uh, Kablahu to what is before it. To what is before it. Uh, okay. Fil era bihi in era. Mutlakan. What is mutlakan? Absolutely. Absolute. It follows. What is before it? It follows in era. But just that we already know all these things. But we are now learning in detail. Huh? And in. And they are in four of four kinds. But huh? and not, you know not. And now Tawkid, we will learn Tawkid. And and at we know at. Huh? And then Badal, our favorite. You know Badal also. Now we are going to learn a little bit more in detail, huh, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, these are the four grammatical elements which have no independent declension of their own. These are the four grammatical elements. What are they? Naat, Badal, Atf, and Tawkid. These have no independent declension. They always follow what is before them. Naat follows Manut. Badal follows Mubdal Minhu from where the Badal came. So if when we say Rat Talibu, if the Hadha is Marfu, the Badal is Marfu. If Hadha is Mansub, the Badal is. So it does not have any independent declension. It always Follows. That's the meaning of it, brother. Huh? It's very easy. Huh? They are dependent. These four elements are dependent. Dependent on what? On other nouns for their declension. If the manud declines, then the nath declines. Are you with me, brother and sister? So, brother and sisters, again, this is what we have already studied a little bit more in detail now. Fine, brother and sister. Nath. Hadara Talibu Jadidu. At Talibu Ajadidu. See? At Talibu Marfu. The Nath has to be Marfu. At Talibu is definite. Nath has to be definite. At Talibu is uh, singular. Nath has to be singular. At Talibu is Muzakkar. Nath has to be Muzakkar. Do you see all these things that we studied in book one? Atalibu al Jadidu comes. Huh? Because Nath and Manut, they agree each other in what way, brothers? In case ending, in gender, in being definite and indefinite, and lastly in number. Huh? Sister Mamuna, we have done this before. So, Yatlubu Mudiru, the Mudir wants to see or demands. What does he demand? Al-Taliba Al-Jadida. See? Agrees. Hada Muqtada Daftaru Talibi Al-Jadidi. Got the idea? Now, what shall I describe this as? Halwa Puri. <laughs> okay, brothers and sisters. Fine. Tawkeed. Emphasis. Huh? Here are two words which come most often for emphasis. Hadaratullahu. Brothers and sisters. Hadaratullahu. The students came. Now I want to emphasize. Kulluhum. All of them. So I said kullu. Why did I say kullu? Because kullu is emphasizing tulla and tullabu is marfu. So kullu became marfu. Huh? Kulluhum. Fine, brothers and sisters. Mansub. Saltu Tullaba, I asked the students, 
kullahum. All of them. So kulla became mansub because kullaba is became mansub. Easy brothers and sisters. Huh? Salam tu ala tullabi. I wished, I greeted, I said salamu alaikum. Kullihim. Huh? All of them. So you see kullu, kulla, kulli. They did not have their independent declension. They followed uh, what they were trying to emphasize. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? It's very easy. All you will need is revision at home. Revise it. Uh, and then it will, inshallah, remain with you. Now, there is another form of tawki, which sometimes we use in uh, English also. I really saw him, himself. So you are just emphasizing it. Okay. So what is the kalali haza? But the kalali haza kala fearun madin li jar majrur haza mafulun bihi and al mudiru file. Here you can say file. And this sister Manaz, if you say Hazal Mudiru, no, I don't think. How will you translate? This Mudir, no, the Mudir is always one, brother. Kala li Haza, the Mudir said this. Are you with me? The Mudir said this, then when you say said this, then this is your Mafulun Bihi. Ah, mashallah, mashallah. Huh? Got the idea? Kala li hadal mudiru. See, mudiru nafsuhu. He himself told me this. Are you with me? The mudir, what will you say in English? The mudir himself told me this. What do you say himself? You could have said mudir told me this. But in order to emphasize, you said the mudir Himself told me this. Are you with me? Fine. Saltul Mudira, I asked the Mudir, uh, Mudira Nafsahu. You know, I asked the Mudir himself. Uh, personally, fine. You can say personally or Nafsahu. Salam to Alal Mudiri. I said, Salam alaikum to the Mudir. Uh, Nafsihi. See, mudiri, nafsihi. So, nafsuhu, nafsahu, nafsihi. Dependent on the other word for their airam. For their declension, they dependent on the word before. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. That's all, brother. So, what will you say? Saltul uh, mudira, nafsahu. I asked the headmaster himself. Huh? And if you say, Salam tu ala al mudiri nafsihi, I greeted the headmaster himself. Huh? Okay, fine, brother. Atf, conjunction. Brother and sister, remember? Atf, and then, what is the ism file of Atf? Atifun. And what is ism maf'ul? Mautufun. Mautufun, fine, brother. Now, brothers and sisters, Matuf is also dependent for its Arab from the word before Waw. Huh? For example, brothers and sisters, Kharaja Hamidun, Hamidun is file. Waw, Atf came. And what will be Sadi? Sadi, why would you say Ku? Why would you say Ku? Because Hamid is marfu. So the Sadiq ku, the Sadiq derives its declension from ha, Hamid. Are you? Huh? And the vow is the connector. Because Sadiq is being connected to Hamid by vow. Huh? So we say vow, harfu, atfin, and Sadiq brothers and sisters, mautufun ala Hamid. Huh? Fine, brother. So if Hamid is marfu, then Sadiq has to be marfu. If Hamid is Ansu, Sadiq will be marfu. Talab al-mudiru Hamidan wa Sadiqa. You see, Sadiqa. Why ka? 
because it is Hamidan. That's Sister Madina. Is it clear, inshallah? This is not difficult, brother. This is all revision for us, rather in detail. Huh? Okay. Aina kutubu Hamidin, Hamidin wa Sadiqi. So why Sadiqi? Because it is Mautufun ala Hamidin. That's it, brothers and sisters. Now comes our Badal, brothers and sisters. Substitute in place of. Huh? Now, Dr. Abdurrahim has beautifully explained in much detail. And the key, uh, inshallah, you will read it and try to understand. Because we have done Badal in the book one quite a bit in detail. I just want you to write down one word and, and, and try to try to say uh, memorize it, brother. Mubadal Minhu. See from where you get your badal. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? From where you get your... The substitute is derived from this source, you can say. Mubadal. Can you figure out what kind of a noun is this? Mukim. Brother, remember Mukim. Ism maful. Fine. Now, sister Sukhaina, tell me the verb. See, mu, Sister Sukhaina, will only come in mazid fihi. So if you say badal, that's base form. There is no shadda. Abdala. Form 4. Abdala, yubdilu, mubdilu, and then mubdalu. Are you with me, Badal Asan? Form 4. Abdala. See, you cannot say form 2 because there is no shadda here. Huh? And there is no alif to make it form three. So it has to be abdala, yubdilu, and mubdilu, and mubdalu. It's a mafool. Huh? Okay, fine. I'm going to quiz you all the time, brothers and sisters. Huh? And inshallah, it will give you enough practice to, to master it, inshallah. Hmm? Brothers and sisters, Always come to the class, unless it's a dire emergency. Huh? Always come to the class. Whenever I say this sentence, I re remember Sister Fatima Khamisa. She used to say, Brother Asif, everybody should come, the, come to the class unless they are out of town or they are bleeding to death. <laughs> that's the only re time you don't come to the class. <laughs> but that's going too far. Unless you have dire emergency, brothers and sisters, try to come to the class. Because in the class, we revise so many things. We say so many things. It will give you extra practice, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, I want to finish here. Then tomorrow we'll do the fell of all, uh, inshallah. What did we do before, brothers and sisters? al muarab wal binau fil asma. Now we'll do al muarab wal binau fil afwal. Very interesting. Most of it you know it. We have done enough practice. We can finish this in half an hour tomorrow, inshallah. Okay. Now, here is a question. A najaha akhuka translation. Did your brother pass? See, where is the <coughs> verb najaha? Where is the file? Ahu. Huh? Remember, Ahu is the fire. And then, Hashimun comes. So what is Hashimun? Badal. Where is Mubadal Minhu? Ahu. So if Ahu is Marfu, the Badal has to be? Got the idea? That's it, brother. Now, Arifu. I know. Know what? Akhaka. I know your brother. And then if I have to say Hashim, what will I say? Hashiman. Why Hashiman? Because it is Badal. And what is Mubdal Minhu? Akha. So if Akha is Mansub, 
Badal has to be mansu. Fine. Aina gurfatu akhika. Translation, brothers. Where is your brother's room? And then you should say, Hashi min. Why Hashi min? Because it is Akhi majroor. Got the idea? Now tell me, brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah, we knew all these things. Huh? Because we did a good practice. Now comes another form, brothers and sisters. Anaja hadat talibu. Hada has come. A talibu. Badr. Badr, why it is talibu? Hada is muftada? Fine. It is fine. Naja hada. Fine, brother. Fine. How will you describe hada? Ismu ishara. Mabniunala sukun. Fi mahalli rafain fa'ilun. Mashallah, mashallah. Your answers are so sweet, mashallah. Brother Abdul Samad, I'm going to enjoy my lunch very much today, inshallah. Arifu, I know. Hazat Talibu. See, we were more familiar with Badal coming from Ismu Ishara. Aina Gurfatu Hazat Talibi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, Aina Gurfatu Hazat Talibi. Alhamdulillah. We finished quite a bit of it. And tomorrow we'll do the other part, brother, which is not very much. Which is not very much. And it is very interesting. And you know when we were doing Nakis, we did a lot of practice. Huh? Especially we started doing Mukaddara business from Nakis verbs. So the same things are coming again. Huh? And we will do it inshallah tomorrow. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa kina azab al-nar. ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة عين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا إلا لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لا نكونن من الخاسرين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت سميع العليم